Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Lily. Today we're going to go ahead and create an arts and crafts project for our Emas. And before we get started with that, you guys know Miss Lily always has a story time for you. So I'm going to go ahead and read a story from my phone. And I'll flip the phone around so you guys can see the images once I'm done reading. So, sit tight, get comfy, and let's start. The title of this book is called My Mom is Magical. It says, my mom is amazing, more amazing than a billion butterflies. More sparkly than a universe of stars. Sweeter than a cloud of cotton candy. Mmm, delicious. I love cotton candy. Stronger than a squad of superheroes. Dun, 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 dun. Braver than a deep sea explorer. Smarter than a school of owls. Cooler than a disco rocket. Warmer than a million sun. Having a good time on that floaty. Cuddlier than a mountain of yak. More magical than a million rainbows. Kid, you're magical too. A joyful tribute to all the things to make mom magical. Thank you to all of our emas for everything they do each and every day. We appreciate and love you guys so very much. And thank you to you guys and your emas because without them, Miss Lily wouldn't have the pleasure of meeting each and every one of you guys who are so amazing. We're going to go ahead and step into another room and we're going to create our arts and craft for our emas. So this is the fun part. Stick around and let's see what we have today. Alrighty, so we're back. So guys, we're going to go ahead and create an arts and crafts project for our emas. And for our arts and craft project, we're going to need the following. We're going to need... A pair of scissors, but remember, it has to be safety scissors. If you guys need help with scissors, ask your emails or abbas to help you guys, okay? Or your brothers and sisters if they're old enough to help you all guys out. We're also going to use paint today, so we're going to use paint. So make sure you have like a cloth or napkins, or you can just run to your bathroom without touching anything and ask for help from one of your parents to wash your hands, okay? We're going to use a brush. For our paints, we're going to need a whole construction paper white. I went ahead and cut mine in half because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to use the whole construction paper. And with our scissors, we're going to go ahead and cut it straight in the middle into two pieces. We're also going to need a green construction paper. So, let's get started and I'll go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be doing. Now, to get started, after you've gone ahead, gone ahead and cut your paper into two, we are going to put our scissors to the side because we don't want them to fall on the floor. And we're going to grab our construction paper that is white and our brush and our paint. I've gone ahead and opened up my paints. And 
we're going to color our fingers. So you can go ahead and color your palm in one color and you can do rainbow on your fingers or you can just go ahead and do rainbow all over your palm and stripes or we can just do one solid color, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and color my palm and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So, I'm gonna start off with my finger. I'm gonna do green. So now that we have our fingers all painted, you're gonna put your brush down and we're going to make a stamp, okay? Of your hand. So we're gonna go ahead and do two stamps. You can do two colors or you can use the same one. I'm gonna go ahead and do my stamp like so. Let me move my paint. One, lift, and two. Let's see if the second one comes out. Two, and lift. Awesome, so now once you guys have done that step and washed your hands, I still have some color because my paint stains. We're going to go ahead and look at your flower. So basically this is your flower for your Ema. And now we're going to go ahead and move to our second part, which is our green paper. Now guys, I did not mention this in the beginning, but you are going to need some paint. So go ahead and get stick glue or Elmer's glue for this next step. Now once you have your Elmer's glue, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your green paper and you're going to grab your hands, which is going to be your flowers, and you're going to use it this way, tilted, and you're going to place the flowers as this way. So we're going to put glue and we're going to glue it this way, okay guys? I'll show you. Make sure to put the glue on the green paper. Oh, it's not coming out. Let's try that again. Still not coming out. Oh, Miss Lily, silly me. Here we go. You can do it that way, or you can just make dots. Whichever way is easier for you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our paper and just like I told you guys, only on this corner where the glue is, we're going to paste it. So I'll show you guys. And because my paint is still wet, I'm not going to dab on it. I'm just going to try to place it gently so that it glues. So it should look something like this. I know it looks weird, huh? But Miss Lily's going to show you in a second what we're going to be doing. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the ends of our paper. And most likely for this part, you're going to need help from your Ema or your Abba's. Better for your Abba so your Ema doesn't see what you're doing. Um, and we're going to roll it. So you're going to grab one corner. And basically, you're going to roll it. And you're going to grab this other corner. And you're going to roll it as well. Once it's rolled, it's going to look something like this. But we're going to make a small cut right here in the middle in a few minutes, okay? So, it should look something like a burrito, but it's not a burrito. You're going to grab your scissors and we're going to cut it into a V. So, I'll show you guys. I'm cutting straight down. Do you guys see right here? You're going to go ahead and cut a V in so that your emas can see your beautiful handprint flowers. Now, once that's done, we're going to grab glue and we're going to glue the little corner that's hanging out here, okay? So once again, you can grab your Elmer's glue or your stick glue 
for this part. You can make it as tight as you want or as loose. In my side, I'm going to go ahead and do it not too big or not too small because I want it to be like a stem for flowers. So now that it's glue, it's secured there, and we're going to grab a ribbon. You can guys grab any type of ribbon. You can grab one of these that are colorful, or you can grab string one. I'm going to go ahead and grab string because my Ema likes string for her arts and crafts projects. So we're going to cut just a small piece so that we can tie it around. Now that you have your string, we're going to go ahead and tie it. We're going to place it around our flower, and we're going to make a knot. So to make a knot, you're going to go have two pieces. You're going to cross them, go under with one, make it tight, and we're going to do it again. Two sides, cross, go inside the hole. Out and squeeze and you should have something that looks like this now we're gonna go ahead and decorate the outside for our emas so you can have your pom-poms and I'm gonna get different colors if I want it to be colorful for my ema And now you're going to grab your glue and you're going to make dots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the V area. So I'm going to make dots. A dot of glue. And I'm going to place a pom-pom. Now when you're doing this step, you guys have to leave it flat so that they don't fall out. And make sure you put enough glue so your pom-poms stick. So now once completed, it should look something like this. I made it this way for my Ema. It's a bouquet of, whoops, gotta wait till they dry. Miss Lily's just showing you. Uh, flowers with my handprint. So guys, make sure you don't lift it up like I did so nothing falls out. Let it sit till your Elmer's glue or your stick glue is completely dried. And that is all for our arts and crafts project for now. Alrighty, so now I want to take this time to say Happy Mother's Day to all of our Emas. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy your day with your families and your loved ones. And boys and girls, I'm also going to be sending you guys this paper. And it's going to be sent to your Emas and Abbas with a beautiful poem for your Emas. And we're going to go ahead and send that. And you can go ahead and draw your flowers up here. There's already a stem and the leaves on a plant. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this Arts and Crafts with Miss Lily today. Happy Mother's Day again to each and every one of our special Emas that we love so much. And I see you guys soon on our next video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.